<laughs> okay, so when you open up the folder to get the dev kit, you'll see there are a few things inside of here. And I really should have had these things organized by group to make it look a little more organized. You'll get a bunch of textures that we put together, um, the avatar shape, um, the blends, and an AVT file. The AVT file is the avatar file already set up and prepped for you. Um, you can just throw that into Marvel Designer and then start off there. You can actually skip the part of exporting it. But I'm going to show you how to export it anyway, just in case you make some body modifications uh, for your version of this body, if you were. And uh, you need to make clothes for it. Because basically the modifications would differ from the original kit that I provided. So what we're going to do is we're going to work with the Bento Body Avastar 1. Or non Bento. Yeah, we're going to work with this one. The non Bento one is like, why even? So I'm going to click this one that says Bento Baby Avastar 1. And hopefully my blender opens it up. Oh, crap. I think it opened up like seven of them. <laughs> Curse my impatient clicking. Alright, so when it opens up, it should look like this. It may or may not have the texture on there, but that's not a big deal. We can just press tab and go into edit mode. And then um, over here in the UV window, just go to open and select the baby. One of these. Uh, this is a different texture than I'm using, but, you know, it's still the same. Just navigate to the project folder, and then it should have a texture in there. You can just slap on the baby. I don't know why that just sounds so wrong. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, um, so what I'm going to do is turn on the display keys. Because once again, I always forget to do that. I'm sorry. It's a, just a gag by now. Alright, so um, we have our baby. We're all set up. And um, we're just going to export it so that we can put it in Marvelous Designer. So click on your baby. And it's all highlighted. You can tell because it's got this outline around it. And you're going to go File, Export, and you're going to go Wavefront of OBJ, so it's just OBJ. And uh, we're going to scroll down here on that window, and then we're going to see where it says Export OBJ. We're just going to check this box here that says Selection Only. And you can save it as a preset so you don't have to keep making sure you check these boxes or anything. Uh, just press this little plus button and then just name it a like marvelous dummy. I would do it, but I have like 20 of those from previous tutorials. <laughs> so I'm not going to make any more. So just check this box. And once that box is checked, you're going to um, navigate to your project folder. To make it easier for this, I'm just going to save it in my desktop. And I'm going to hit export. And we're just going to wait for it to export it out. And that's all you need to do to uh, export your baby. Now, if you want to make any modifications to it, um, you know, feel free to sculpt on it and have fun. But right now, I'm just exporting it out in its vanilla state is what I'm doing and what I did. And now that it's done, we're going to move over to Marvelous Designer and start designing on some clothes.